Hello. <laughs> testing, testing, testing. Hello there. So it is Revenge of the Fifth, and we will be doing some Jeopardy or trivia. Well, it's 
as trivia, but it uses the Jeopardy format. Um, it's been a while since I've utilized this feature. Um, so here we have the Zeppordi. We have the uh, a Star Wars trivia. I did not make this, okay, but I will not be playing because we need a host. Um, so to play, all you have to do is to go to the link. If you type in exclamation mark buzzer, the link will pop up. The code is P78V. And when a question is asked, um, when a question is asked, uh, the uh, you can buzz in, and whoever gets the buzzer, hits the buzzer first, will be able to answer. And uh, if you answer correctly, you get however many points. If you answer incorrectly, you lose half of however many points. So that you don't have people just, you know, spewing out random answers. So if anyone would like to join in, you know, feel free to... I guess... I, I, right now there's around four people. I, I, I feel like more people might be interested. I mean, we can start in like, maybe ten minutes, but... But yeah, uh, if you would like to join in, feel free to buzz in right now and we'll just add the names to the teams. Yeah, I don't, don't worry about that. But yeah, if you would like to join in, feel free to use the link. I was able to join. And then, uh, buzz in. Is this the same code? Is, is the code... There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, would I move this off screen? Okay, it still works. Perfect. Okay. All right. All right. You know what? I'm gonna team. This will be team zero. So just so just so we have some space. Oops. Game or GG. There we go. But yeah, we got we got one contestant. If anyone would like to partake, feel free to buzz in. We'll start in ten minutes. So there is a prize. Griever, would you like to partake? I just set up a timer. It's too much work. Okay, so what what happened? I'm sorry for the delay of uh of starting. Um, I was trying to. Oh, my bad. I <coughs> don't worry. Don't worry, Vlad. You're you're still in. You're still in. Um, but yeah, um, so I was looking into an older trivia game that I had. Turns out that that game was no longer supported, like I wasn't even able to host the game properly. And then I was like, you know what, I bet that Jeopardy website that I use for the most self-centered stream I've ever done probably has something like that. So...
You need to eat dinner. What what kind of, what are you having for dinner? I also uh I talked to <laughs> I talked to Flo before this actually. Um he said he's definitely gonna stop by later, so get as much points as you can before he gets here, I guess. We got, we got, we're, he got we start in seven minutes. So I so I wanted to do something where people could tag along, you know, just have some fun. I, I like game shows. We all know I like game shows. And I I didn't look into this. I, I saw this. This was made really, really recent. So I was like, okay, like, you know, that should be fun. I took a look at one of the questions and it is it is an answer that I know. But it was one of the hundreds. So maybe it's easy, maybe it's not, I, I don't know. Um, but time will tell, time will tell. We, got, we start in seven minutes. Okay, if anyone would like to join in. Ooh, Blazed Amber. I'm so glad the weekend is coming up. This is much needed. It's been a very long week. minutes until we begin. It's interesting how my mouse shows up on this, but it doesn't show up on this. Weird. It's weird. change no change at all i i apologize if the questions are really weird because i haven't looked into it um but i think it'll be fun i i truly think it'll be fun we got four minutes I feel like our community doesn't have a lot of Star Wars fans. I'm also really curious, like, if this like is like a movie thing or is this like a all the cinematics? You know, like I, I, I would, I, I would not know.
Now we got two minutes. For those that are curious, uh, you can join in at any time. It's just we're starting in a minute so that, you know, when the earlier you join, the more points you could uh, attempt to acquire. So there's that. <laughs> All right, it is time. Um, okay, so as mentioned earlier, I don't know these questions. I, they could be great, they could be terrible, I honestly don't know. But how we're going to do is, I am going to turn off the buzzer. Uh, when I turn it on, feel free to buzz in. The person who is first will get to pick the category and the amount of points. Um, and you answer the question. And if you get it right... Well, okay, hold on. No, 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 no. The person who buzzes in first gets to pick the question. The question is then revealed, and then the person who buzzes in first gets to answer the question. If you answer the question correctly, you get the points. If you answer it incorrectly, you lose half of how much the question is worth. Does anyone have any questions before we begin? Is it, is, I, is, I think we're good. We're good. All right. All right. We're good. We're good. Okay. So, buzzers are open. Feel free to buzz in. All right. Uh, first question up to you, Vlad. Go ahead and choose. Also, there are, you know, the 700 and 800 behind the buzzer. We'll, we'll move it when we get there. Or we can get it out of the way eventually. But yeah. Wars 800. Like, like this one? Like Star Wars 800? Is there something I'm missing? Star Wars actors, sports and Star Wars, not so fiction. War where is where's wars? Sports and oh, this one. Yeah, I I'm sorry. The the website is acting a little weird. But would you like uh People who don't both have a chance of winning. <laughs> Hello, Panda. All right, so sports and Star Wars for 800 is the choice. All right. The buzzer will turn on as soon as I finish reading this. Carl Weathers played this fictional professional boxer before he started playing Grief Karga on The Mandalorian. All right. Feel free to buzz in. If anyone knows the answer, I'll be completely honest, I do not know the answer to this question. Is the... Uh, it's a Rocky reference? I, I don't think people know the answer. Reaper, would you like to buzz in? Oh! 
I think I know what you're talking about. Well, I know the name of the movie. But I don't know the name of the character. Alright, so... Oh! Blaze Amber buzzed in. Apollo Creed. Uh... You are correct! 800 points to Blaze Amber. Congratulations. Alright. Okay. Um, Blaze Amber, please pick the next category. The movie was called Creed, right? Random 400. This was the name of the first lunar module to land on the moon. Is that even a Star Wars question? Or is it like just space? Oh, we got blood. Apollo 13. What is the eagle? Unfortunately, that is incorrect. Uh, so that was negative 200, unfortunately. Unless Apollo 13 is the eagle. Am I, am I, wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I'm, I'm waiting. You didn't let anyone else buzz? No, the buzzes are on. Blaze Amber buzzed second. After wrong answer? Wait, what do you mean? Oh, like a second, like a second person trying to get the answer? I can't do that because I don't know if the answer is correct or incorrect. Because I didn't make this quiz, I wouldn't know. So when I made the quiz for myself, I knew exactly what the answer was, so we could take in extra answers. But because I didn't make this one, I don't have the answers. Technically, I could be playing, but it would be unfair because there's probably a delay on the timer. But yeah. But is Apollo 13 called the Eagle? If the Apollo 13 is, is called the Eagle, you get the points. It's not? Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, since you get that question wrong, uh, we'll open the buzzer for the next one. Alright, buzzer is open. Whoever wins the buzzer right now can pick the next category. Alright, Vlad, pick your category. Did you know the answer, though? Even, like, if you didn't misunderstand the question, would you have gotten it right? Not so science fiction 800. Y'all just going for the big ones. We have not broken light speed, but we have broken the speed of sound. Achieved by going... I guess that's supposed to say faster than this benchmark. And the buzzers are on. I'm assuming that says faster. They just typo, like a typo. Alright, Vlad, go ahead. I think I know the answer to this. I don't think that's the answer. <laughs> but I will give you that if it is what I think it is. I honestly feel like the word they're looking for is mock. 
Okay, but Mach is 343, right? That is, 343 is speed of sound, right? I, I think. Okay, Google. How fast is speed of sound? Yeah, okay, he gets the point. Ding ding. But yeah, uh, as far as I know, Mach is like one, Mach 1 is like one level of, well, one, that, that, it's the speed of sound. All right, please pick the next category. What happened to Panda saying he was going to compete? Star Wars trivia for 800. Alright, so let me just... It's it's behind the buzzer. It is there. It's behind the buzzer, but it is there. Oh, I see. This is the most common written language in the Star Wars universe, eventually inspiring Galactic Basic. In 3, 2, 1, buzzer's on. Read again. What did you write? Uh, I will join only because people who don't buzz have a chance of winning. <laughs> True. True. I joined Crowd Buzzer. Wait, what's Crowd? I'm not playing. Okay. Blood, what is your answer? Aura Besh? That is correct. Congratulations. Ding, ding, ding. Please pick the next category. Uh, I'm just going to name this Leze and the. Uh, Star Wars trivia for 700. If everyone fails. Count Dooku's lightsaber was different than many other Jedi or Sith. This was his hilt was this shape inspired by the very real sword of Carlamang Carlamang Carlamange Carlamange. Please buzz in if you have the answer. Champagne. So Car Ch Charlemagne. Carla made? Oh, first one or second one? Vlad, you've got the buzzer. Charlemagne? Charlemagne. It's Charlemagne. Vlad, your answer, plus. Not sure what they're looking for, but Duke had a curve handle. Joy, you. Joy, joy, joy. And I'll take either so long as it shows. What is curved? Okay, you wrote curved. You know, that that's that's. That's a terrible answer for this question, but, you know, that, that's fine. No, 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 you get full points. I, I, I knew the answer to this, it's just I didn't... Your answer was a lot more detailed, so, than, than the answer they provided, so I feel like the answer was kind of weak. Please pick the next category. You are currently leading by 1,300. That's a lot. Blaze Amber needs to catch up. Trivia for 600. This is the name of the ethnicity of characters such as Jango Fett, Boba Fett, Bo-Katan, and Din Djarin. <laughs> this is a free one. This is so free. All right. Buzzers on in three, two, one. Blaze Amber. Mandalorian. 
Ding, ding. Correct. What are mangoes? Please, Amber, please pick the next category. Of culture 800. Random for 500. When Michael Jordan played for the Chicago Bulls, he won this many NBA championships. In three, two, one. Wait, you know? Ooh, what? Blaze Amber buzzed in. I honestly don't know how many championships. Six? What? What? How do y'all know this? Wait, Vlad, did you know the answer as well? Wait, how do you guys know? Two times three peat champs. I was gonna say five. I don't watch enough basketball. Alright. Blaze Amber, please pick the next category. The scores are very close right now. What do you mean? 800. Random for 800. A Haber's Dashery sells this type of product. Go. I, I forgot to turn the buzzer off. I'm sorry. Haberdashery? 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 <laughs> Vlad, please go on ahead. Clothing or men's clothing? What are hats? I... I don't know if that counts. I'm gonna Google it. If, if Google tells me that they sell men's clothing, I'll give it to you. But if it, if it does not, then unfortunately I will not give it to you. Eberdashery meaning. Men's clothing and accessories. You know what? You get it. You get it. You, you, you get it. You get the points. You get the points. Alright. Uh, please pick the next category. I know. I know. I know. It's. I didn't make this quiz, okay? If I made it, it would have been a lot better. It wouldn't have that random category. It would just be all pure Star Wars related. Star Wars Trivia for 500. This is the name of the former Jedi Master who went into exile on the swamp planet on Dagobah. This is so free! In 3, 2, 1, go! Blaze Amber! Yoda is correct. Can you imagine if it was not Yoda? Please pick the next category. River plus it has to be the, the the winner sports and star wars for 400 though not lightsabers this sport has opponents trying to strike each other with foils or epes in three two one go blaze amber yeah i i think it's fencing as well Fencing is correct. Please pick the next category. Wow, this is neck and neck. We got we're 
It's like a 100 point difference. But, you know, the, the game is still early. If anyone would like to join in, feel free to do so. All you have to do is follow the buzzer link and buzz in when the buzzers are on. I think it has lower ping. Latency dip. Pulp culture for 400. Is this the one? Yeah, this is the one. This superhero alter ego is shown as a Star Wars fan when he shows his best friend Ned his Lego Death Star. In 3, 2, 1, go. I know who this is. Plays Amber, go ahead. It actually might be a latency dip. Spider-Man is incorrect. Because it's the alter ego. We're not looking for Spider-Man here. I'm pretty sure the answer is Peter Parker. So, unfortunately, that is incorrect. Wait, that was 400, so you only lose half. I remember that scene. This is from Tom Holland's. When Ned's like, together we can build the Death Star. And then the cheerleaders behind were like, really like disgusted. And then Tom was like, what? No way, how many pieces? I remember that scene. All right, as that question was answered incorrectly, we're gonna open the buzzer. Whoever gets the buzzer will pick the next category. Buzzer's open. All right, Vlad, please pick the next category. Star Wars actors for 800. This Kylo Ren actor has since secured roles in other films such as Marriage Story, Black Klansman, and most recently, 65. In 3, 2, 1, go. Go on ahead. I did not make this quiz slash Jeopardy! Okay, I'm sorry, okay? Adam Driver. That is correct. This should be like 400. I took a look at the 100 for Star Wars actors and it was super easy. I didn't that was the only one I looked at. I didn't look at anything else. So I have not I have no expectations. Please pick the next category. Too easy for Star Wars actors and all the other ones are super hard for me at least. Celebrity Star Wars fans, 800. Before playing Donkey Kong in the new Super Mario Bros. movie, this actor tried to land a role in Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. In 3, 2, 1, go. Guy from Van City likes to get stoned. I don't remember. Vlad, what is your answer? I don't remember who played Donkey Kong. Well, I haven't seen the movie, but... Richard Yearwood? Seth Rogen. Uh -uh. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. The so minus 400. Seth Rogen plays Donkey Kong? Interesting, interesting. Alright, buzzers open in 3, 
two, one, go. Please, Amber, please pick the next category. I'll give you all this. I did not know that they lived near Point Grey. Random for 600. This famous chemist died in 1934 from a blood disease contracted by the effects of radiation exposure. In 3, 2, 1, go. I have seen none of that. This is the end is, in, is fun. I really enjoyed it. This is a fun movie. Blazed Amber, go right on ahead. Marie Curie. That is correct. Wow, wow. Again, neck and neck for a hundred points. That is crazy. Please pick the next category. Pop culture for 600. That was close. They are both gay with you. This Adam Sandler movie ends with two dead characters and Abraham Lincoln waving back to the main character in the style of the Force Ghost in Return of the Jedi. In 3, 2, 1, go. I actually know the answer to this. I would say I probably rewatched it like maybe a year ago. Wait, do neither of you know the answer? I feel like we watched it for movie night. Vlad, go on ahead. Happy Gilmore is correct. Ding. Please pick the next category. Yeah, we did. Star Wars for how much? 800? This is a common carbohydrate found in abundantly in potatoes. In 3, 2, 1, go. This is a common carbohydrate found abundantly in potatoes. I, I don't know. Your answer is starch, and starch is correct. I don't really get the category, but maybe we'll find out more. Please pick the next category. Star Wars for 700. A do over. Three, two, one, go. I think I know what this category is. I think I know. Go ahead, Vlad. I don't think. I don't think remake is the answer. Would you like? I'll, I'll give you a chance. Is that is that your final answer? Okay, I believe the answer is restart. Yeah. So I figured it out. The Star Wars are all have they all have star in it. Starch, restart. Yeah, it's a it's a wordplay. Unfortunate. <laughs> All right, categories. Uh, first person to get the buzzer gets the category. Three, two, one, go. Blaze Amber, what would you like? Pulp, 
I keep falling for it. Griever just buzz in, plus... Blaze Amber, please pick the category. Trivia for 400. This is the name of the desert planet where both Luke and Anakin Skywalker grew up. Three. This is free. This is free. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Blaze Amber. Tatooine is correct. You spelt it wrong, but I I would have spelt it. <laughs> I would have spelt it wrong too, to be fair. We'll we'll give you we'll we'll give you we'll give you half. We'll give you half. Please pick the next category. Wing correct is when you get it wrong, but still. Hey, I gave them half, okay, so. Because I would have, like, it, it's right, but it's wrong, but it's still right. Random for 300. The subatomic particle proton has this type of charge. In three. Two, one, go. I know the answer to this. Blaze Amber, go round ahead. Positive is correct. Please pick the next category. for 300. This Las Vegas NFL team shares its name with the denizens of the Dune Sea on Tatooine. In 3, 2, 1, go. Blaze Amber. Raiders. That is correct. Congratulations. Slowly catching up. Please pick the next category. Wait and see Dim is so hard. <laughs> I I don't know if there's a better way of doing this though. This is like as close as a I'll figure out something. I'll figure out something in the future. Sports for 500. Characters such as Cody and Fox are this rank in the Galactic Army of the Republic, the same name as the NFL team from DC. I didn't turn off the buzzer, but y'all buzz. I'll, I'll, I'll let this. I'll allow it. Vlad, what is your answer? The latency diff isn't that much, right? Did they disappear? Commander, commanders, commanders is correct. I did not know the NFL team name, but I did know that they were commanders. Alright, I'll be more careful with the buzzer. Please pick the next category. Uh, National Football League. It was a racist name. That they changed recently. Wait, is this the one that was called the Rednecks? References in pop culture for 800. Perhaps one of the biggest Star Wars references in film is this parody comedy film directed by Mel Gibson with characters such as Darth Helmet and Pizza the Hut. In 3, 2, 1, go! Blaze Amber.
Space balls. That is correct. I see, I see. Please pick the next category. Sports for 700. This Ottawa hockey team shares its name with Padme Amidala's and Bale, Bale Organa's titles in Episode 2 and Episode 3. 3, 2, 1, go. I like how you added Health Culture 800. Flag, go on ahead. Senator. That is correct. Please pick the next category. Actors for 700. Poe Dameron actor Oscar Isaac starred in this Marvel series last summer about a man who has the powers of an Egyptian god. In 3, 2, 1, go! Vlad got it. Moon Knight? Yeah, I kind of thought it was Moon Knight. I haven't seen it, and I didn't even know what Moon Knight did, but now I guess it's a spoiler for me. They have Egyptian god powers. That is correct. Congratulations. Please pick the next category. I started watching it. I didn't like it. Couldn't finish. I see, I see. I need to catch up on a lot of the Marvel series for sure. Actors for 600. Daniel Craig has made a cameo appearance in Star Wars as a stormtrooper after being known for playing this iconic spy for four movies in three, two, one, go! This is way too easy! Graver, let's go! Is that is that your final answer? <laughs> Who is James Bond is correct. All right, please pick the next category. Unfortunately, pop culture for 800 is taken. You go for the 700. I quit. Give my points to Panda. All right. Would you like to pick the next category? Pop culture for 700. In an episode Gilmore Girls that aired in 2005, characters Lorelei, Lorelei Gilmore and Luke Danes argue about Anakin and Obi-Wan's duel from this movie in the series. 3, 2, 1, go. Blaze Amber. Reaver is helping me live my dream. Duel of the Fates Episode 3? Pretty sure that's incorrect. Well, it's not called Duel of the Fates, though. It is episode 3, but it's. The movie should have been Revenge of the Sith. Half points? I'm gonna give them half points. 
It is episode 3, but it's not Duel of the Fates. Well, I mean, you could technically count it as Duel of the Fates, but it's, the title is Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, Duel of the Fates is Maul versus Qui-Gon, so... Half points. Uh, 515? I'm not very good at math. But if I get the math wrong, please let me know. Um, please pick the next category. Revenge of the Fifth. Sports for 600. Sports for 600. A football player who forces another to drop the ball is credited with one of these that share a name with the power that Jedi possesses. In 3, 2, 1, go. Blaze Amber, please go round ahead. Football player who forces another to drop the ball is credited with one of these that share a name with the power that Jedi possess. They can't do it. Fumble? That. Right, we're going to. Fumble. Fumble? I... Wait, what is force fumble? Congratulations, but I actually have no idea what that is. Dropped the ball. He he dropped the ball. I I actually oh actually okay. But what is force fumble? You force them to drop the ball. No no okay. Yeah 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 yeah. Is there any more random? There is one hundred, two hundred, and seven hundred. Some of these questions are questionable. I'm sorry. Okay, the next time I do this, I will personally go through all of them. 700 for random. Can someone tell me what Force Fumble is? Why was Adam Driver the answer for 800? I don't know. I don't know. It's the ones where you send rocks at them? Oh, interesting. A monophobe fears this in three, two, one, go. Monophobe. I am most annoyed this quiz is not turn based. I mean, we could do turn based actually. I will, I will figure out something in the future. Blaze Amber, go round ahead. You know what? Fear of being lonely. That is correct. I did not know that was a thing. <laughs> you don't have to be alone, you have us. Please pick the next category. I wonder if Flo can still catch up if he tunes in right now. Blaze Amber, your next category. Sports for 200. Pod racing is a popular sport in the Star Wars universe, very similar to this real sport of driving open wheel cars on tracks all over the world. In 3, 2, 1, go. Blaze Amber. Formula 1. 
Formula One is correct. Please pick the next category. Sports for 100. This MLB team has been nicknamed the Evil Empire because they have one of the most World Series and because of the state they are located in. In 3, 2, 1, go. Blaze Amber. New York Yankees? Wow, I did not know that. Congratulations. Now the sports are all cleared out. Please pick a... What do you mean? Why are they the... I don't understand why they are the evil empire. Random 200. Oh, that's... Is that why? That makes a lot more sense, okay. Police most commonly comes from the fur of this animal. Three, two, one, go. MLB, mediocre tub losers. Blaze Amber goes in with sheep. That is correct. Please pick the next category. Random for 100. Which NBA teams are playing a po- That is a stupid question! That is a stupid, stupid question! You know what? I'm gonna open it up and whoever gets it... Like, just guess, okay? You- everyone gets to guess. Okay, anyone who buzzes in gets to guess. And if you get it correct... If you get it correct, you get the points. In fact, I will assign... I will, uh, I will, I will assign 200 points. Okay, and there's, there, if you get it wrong, nothing happens. Okay, if you get it right, if you manage to guess a team. Yeah, so I'm assuming this game was made that day, so we don't actually know. Because I don't know what is, what is the answer to this. So everyone pick one team. Just pick one team. If you land that team, you get 200 points. Two, if you get if you get that team 200 points okay if you don't get it it's okay all right just everyone gets one guess everyone gets one guess all right griever's guess is the celtics Cel celtics uh all right panda's guess is raptors blaze amber what is your guess And Vlad, would you like to just throw in a random team? Throw in a random NBA team. Warriors. Alright. Blaze Amber, what is your one choice? Give them the Phoenix Suns. <laughs> they need to answer themselves. This is such a weird question. Is is Blaze Amber still there? They said Nuggets and Suns first, so give them Suns. All right, if they don't reply in the next ten seconds, I'll I'll give them Suns. Five seconds. You did? If you're still here, pick one team. We got five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, your answer is going to be the Suns. All right, so for Griever, we got Celtics. Celtics? Is this Celtic or Celtic? Celtic, right? It's Celtic. Celtic. For Vlad, we got Warriors. For Panda, we got Raptors. Celtics. And for Blaze Amber, we have the Suns. 
Warriors and li what? What? The person who doesn't actually watch sports gets it. Yo. <laughs> this was made yesterday. Oh, is this is was this what happened yesterday? I see, I see. Well, that was that was very interesting. That was a very interesting result. I said warriors because golden guardians. All right. Oh, I, I, I. It, there's a lot going on. I'm sorry. Please pick the next category. Was there only one game going on yesterday? You, Vlad, you got the question right. So please pick the next category. Oh, I see, I see. There were a lot of submissions, so I only counted like the after I said the one team. Not so science fiction 700. Salacious B. Crumb is a character who is a hybrid of two real animals, a lizard and this sim simian animal. I, I don't know if I was... I, I, I don't know if this is a... Uh, if I pronounced it correctly. Anyways, in 3, 2, 1, go! He and Nyx also played yesterday. Like I said, this quiz is not the best. I am sorry. Salacious B. Crumb. I don't even know what that's from. Vlad, go on ahead. Bonobo? Is that? What is a monkey? Bonobo is a monkey, right? I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Bonobo is monkey, right? We keep, we keep saying things like boosted Bonobo. And it's, if it's wrong, the quiz is wrong. Okay, it is, okay, okay. Alright, please pick the next category. It's a prime ape? Primate? Primate? I, I give up, I give up. Please pick the next category. Prime Gaming Ape. It's specifically Bonobo, not just any monkey for the design. I see. Not so science fiction for 600. Most Mandalorians follow a code similar to that of Bushido, a way of life that was seen in the feudal age of this country. This is so easy in 3, 2, 1, go. Griever! Japan is correct. Land of the rising sun. Give it to Panda. Alright. No. Kinda denied the points. So points go back to Griever. Alright, Griever, please pick the next category. I play reverse card. Give to Gamer GG. That would that would be a little bit unfair. They are very, very neck and neck. Let's have a honest Let's have a clean and honest fight between them. Give to Team Zero. Okay, that's fair. You can give it to Team Zero. <laughs> Team Zero's gonna beat you. Pulp culture for 800 is taken, bro. Come on. 
Do I go for pop culture for 500? I don't know why I mean. Why are we still here only just to suffer? To morally support Malding Black. Help culture for 500. All of the main characters in the Big Bang Theory have been seen meeting actor Mark Hamill, except this character who wanted to meet him the most, Bazinga. In the three, two, one, go. Blaze Amber. Sheldon is correct. Three hundred point lead. Please pick the next category. Star Wars for 300. A popular condiment on hot dogs and hamburgers, often paired with ketchup. In 3, 2, 1, go. Blazed Amber, go ahead. I know the answer to this one. This is this is this is a fun category. This is a fun category. I'll give it to them. I give up. No, come on. You got this. You got this. Okay, you know what? Hold on. Okay. Let's try something a little bit different, okay? I'm going to turn off the buzzer for now. All right? We're going to try We're going to use chat, okay? You don't you just you just answer, okay? Just as long as you answer in chat, okay? I will take the first answer. If you type a wrong answer, you will lose half the points, okay? All right, now we just put the answers in the chat, all right? No timers. Let's see if that is better, okay? I mean, no buzzers. So please pick the next category. What do you mean, no? I want to hear more. We'll give it a. We'll, we'll take a look. We'll take a look. We'll, we'll see. We'll see if if this changes anything. I don't actually know if the buzzer lags or the stream lags. If the stream lags, then the buzzer is just an extra lag. I am quietly simmering. Blaze Amber, please pick the next category. Star Wars for 600. All right, so as soon as I click it, okay, it's fair game, all right? Doesn't matter if I haven't finished reading the question. Once I click it, it is fair game. And I'm going to click it in 3, 2, 1. If you were one of these players first to play in basketball game, you are one of these. I know the answer to this. Unfortunately, Griever answered first, and that was incorrect. The answer is starter, I believe. You did it on purpose. You dug from Panda. <laughs> no, 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 no. Those are Panda's points now. You can't give someone a gift and be like, wait, I need to take it back. Deduct from Team Zero, okay. The one time I will I will deduct from Team Zero. But no more. Did 
Deduction is always half. Deduction is half. Um, okay, so no one got that right. And uh, so we're turning on... We uh, No one got that right, so... How do we determine which category? Well, technically, yeah, I guess I guess Blaze Amber did get it right. Blaze Amber, please pick the next category. Give Blaze Amber the points. That would be unfair because all the questions so far we didn't have second place answers. Star Wars for 500 and 3, 2, 1, go. To be spooked or scared in an abrupt manner. Startled is correct. Is that a lag thing? I'm really curious if that is a lag thing. I think he's lagging. That is very unfortunate. I'm sorry, there's not much I can do about that though. They're- they're- Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, I can't- Wait, Vlad, is it easier- Okay, do you prefer the buzzer or no buzzer? Okay. I know you're taking this seriously, so I want to give you the option. Do you think buzzer or no buzzer? No, don't go. Come on. You are you are so close. Let me slip. Buzzer. All right, we're going to bring back the buzzer. Me. Okay. Um, Blaze Amber, please pick the next category. Star Wars for 400. If you are really hungry, you are this. Buzzers are on in 3, 2, 1, go. Place Amber, go around ahead. Starving is correct. That was 400? Please pick the next category. Star Wars for 200. If something is apparent or easily seen, they could be called this. Also, the last name of Iron Man Alter Ego in 3, 2, 1, go. Griever! Stark. You are not the only one that is cursed. Give it to Phantom, please. All right, all right, please select the next category and please don't pick Pop Culture 800. Pop Culture 700. Creeper. Do I choose?
Yes, you are supposed to. Pulp culture highest is 300. Running for over 30 years, this TV show has had its share of Star Wars references like the episode titled Bart Wars. In 3, 2, 1, go. Blaze Amber. <laughs> Black diff. I feel so bad. The Simpsons is correct. Please pick the next category. Every time I die in game, I know it's just lag. Not my fault, I am the best. If people kill me, they're hacking. Star Wars for 100. If you're looking at a movie screen or another person for an extending period of time, it is called this in 3, 2, 1, go. Blazed Amber. Staring. I think the answer is stare, but I'll take staring. Oh, staring is correct. I was wrong. Congratulations. The Star Wars random and sports are all cleared out. We still have actors, not so science fiction, celebrity Star Wars fans, references, and trivia. Not so science fiction for 300. If the blades of lightsabers were truly made out of light, they would weigh this much. Three, two, one, go. I honestly don't know the answer to this. I don't think it's a very clear question. If the blades of lightsabers were truly made of light, they would weigh this much. Blaze Amber, what is your answer? Nothing? What is nothing? Oh. Okay. You got it right. I actually... I mean... Let me just reread the question. It would... Okay, I guess the blades. Yeah, light doesn't weigh. Yeah, okay, I see it. I, I see it. Please pick the next category. Light does not have mass, regardless of speed. Answer is correct. Photons do not have particles with mass. Not so science fiction for 400. Unfortunately, the space explosions we see in Star Wars movies are impossible in our world because of space lack of this element. 3, 2, 1, go. Ooh! Vlad with the steel! Air. Oxygen. I will give you half points. I will give you half points for this. Need oxygen for fire. True. You know, I never thought about that. Now that they pointed it out, like, it, it really changes things. Please pick the next category. You don't need oxygen for explosions. Other elements are suitable. Anything that's combustible, right? Nitrogen is, a, nitrogen is combustible too, I think. I don't know anymore. My science knowledge is very, very outdated. 
but the explosions ignite into fire in the movies. Fair. Fans for 700. These royal brothers are such big Star Wars fans, they almost landed a role in The Last Jedi, but they were to too busy helping their grandma Elizabeth in three, two, one, go. Otherwise it would just be shrapnel. Blood, what is your answer? Harry and William. That is correct. Slowly catching up. Please pick the next category. Hands for 600. Being a huge Star Wars fan, Brie Larson was very excited when she landed the role of this Marvel superhero who frequently travels through space in 3, 2, 1, go. Plays Amber. <coughs> Captain Marvel is correct. Please pick the next category. Fiction for 200. My bad. Thanks for pointing it out. The closest thing we have to speeder in the real world of these vehicles with Harley Davidson being one of the most famous producers in 3, 2, 1, go. Vlad, what is your answer? Motorcycles. I think the answer is bikes. Oh, I was wrong. You were right. Please pick the next category. Fans for 500. This How I Met Your Mother star is an avid Star Wars fan and has been known to dress as Obi-Wan Kenobi on occasion. In 3, 2, 1, go. Blood? I was like, his first name is not start with an H. Neil Patrick Harris is correct. Please pick the next category. Actors for 500. This actor has been on TV recently, starring as both The Mandalorian and as Joel in HBO's The Last of Us. 3, 2, 1, go! Go ahead, Vlad. Pedro Pascal. <laughs> Congratulations, congratulations. Getting really, really close. Please take the next category. Actors for 400. Or flow, true. 
After playing one of Padme's handmaidens in episode 1, Kira Knightley then went on to play Pirate Elizabeth Swan in the series of Disney Adventure movies in 3, 2, 1, go! Reaver. You misclicked? Well, you, you... You still have, you still have, you still have it. You can still answer the question. And if you answer incorrectly, you will be losing points. So this, this one should be very easy. Pirates is correct. Please pick the next category before you play your CS game. Thanks for redeeming hydrate and hydrate. And hydrate and hydrate and hydrate and hydrate. Y'all stop. Why? I okay, I'm gonna go get more water because I but okay, I, I I'm actually gonna go get water. Be right back. I finished my water. Okay, I need to get more water. <sighs> okay, I'm back and I drank a lot of water. Thank you all for reading me that. Um, have you picked the next category yet? Does BBT count? <laughs> Reaver, come on, pick a category, please. Thank you. Actors for three hundred, two hundred, one hundred, highest three hundred. Mark Hamill is known for being on screen as Luke Skywalker, but he has also voiced a wide variety of cartoon characters such as this clown, Prince of Crime, and Enemy of Batman in 3, 2, 1, go! Blaze Amber Joker is correct. It's a fantastic job. Just wanted to show my team pop culture. <laughs> All right, please pick the next category.
Fiction 500. Beskar, the strongest metal in the Star Wars universe, is an alloy metal, meaning it contains a mixture of two different metals, like this real-life alloy of iron and carbon. 3, 2, 1, go. Blaze Amber. Steel. I wanted to say steel as well. I don't actually know. Steel is correct. Congratulations. Please pick the next category. Vlad has the true team. Fiction 100. YouTube channel Hacksmith took one step closer to bringing this fictional Star Wars weapon into reality that burns at over 3,000 degrees. 3, 2, 1, go. That was almost identical. Like, I actually saw the two names almost appear at the same time. Blaze Amber, go round ahead. The difference in out ping, I guess, around 20 milliseconds. I am sorry. There's not much I can do about that. Lightsaber is correct. Please pick the next category. Next time for trivia. I will figure something out. I will figure something out for next time. Don't worry. Don't worry. I will I will I will figure out a system. I need to buy a new houses near each other. There is also another way. There is another way. There's another way. Um Trivia for 100. Darth Vader reveals that he is this in relation to Luke during their battle in Empire Strikes Back in 3, 2, 1, go. Blaze Amber. Father is correct. I also would have accepted daddy. Please pick the next category. Would you have accepted Mother Hacker? <laughs> yeah. Trivia <laughs> 300. This gold-plated droid is the cautious counterpart to his companion R2-D2. 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, Vlad got the... Vlad got it. Vlad got it. You know, as soon as I read the gold-plated, I already knew what the answer was. C-3PO is correct. I said this today. straw man <laughs> yeah yeah you're right Vlad please pick the next category fans for 400 Rain Wilson is a Star Wars fan much like his character Dwight Schrute from this popular TV sitcom in three two one go Vlad with the steel The office is correct. Did y'all know he was in Transformers? Because I did not know until recently. <laughs> Please pick the next category.
fans for 300. Oh, did I not give points? I am so sorry. Wait. One zero three, right? One zero three. There. Okay. Fans for three hundred. This truth hurts musician declared herself a Star Wars fan and then appeared in an episode of The Mandalorian as the Duchess. Three, two, one, go. Blaze Amber. Lizzo is correct. Please pick the next category. Trivia for 200. This is the named of the... This is the named of the main character of Star Wars Episodes 7 to 9, played by Daisy Ridley. 3, 2, 1, go. Blaze Amber? Ray. Ray is correct. Is there enough points for Vlad to catch up? 300, 300, 300. That's 900. I don't think, I don't think Vlad has enough to catch up. Unless, Blaze Amber gets questions wrong. Then it is possible. Is it possible? I don't know. I can't math. Please pick the next category. Actors for 200. James Earl Jones is a fan of the movies even after playing a major role in them, voicing this black armored wearing main villain. 3, 2, 1, go. Blaze Amber? Darth Vader is correct. We got five more categories to go. Fans for 200. Megan Fox prides herself on owning a life-size replica of this famous white and blue astromech droid in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, Vlad. R2-D2 is correct. Please pick the next category. References 200. This animated show has a few Star Wars parody episodes with characters filling roles such as Stewie as Darth Vader and Peter as Han Solo. 3, 2, 1, go. Go ahead. Family Guy also, yeah, Blaze Amber did win. 
family guys blue harvest something something dark side we got three more questions to go Actors 100. Harrison Ford's two most iconic roles are as Han Solo and this fictional archaeologist who shares his name with a U.S. state in 3, 2, 1, go. Plays Amber. Oh. <laughs> Ohio Jones. Indiana Jones is correct. All right, we got two more to go. Fans 100. Daniel Radcliffe is a huge Star Wars fan, which makes sense considering he's also starred in this these fantasy movies about a certain boy wizard in three, two, one, go. Your wizard. Blood. And that you saw you were wrong. Potatoes of the English Magic School on Drugs. Yes, we will give you points for that. Alright, the last question. Don't? Alright. There. Oh, actually, you get- you only need to lose half, so... There. He's trying to lose points. Last question! This day is International Star Wars Day. Three, two, one, go! Please, Amber. <coughs> May 4th is correct. You would like to donate teams or- wait, that's not your- that's not up to you. Congratulations on Blaze Amber taking the lead. But here's a twist. I'm adding an extra question. Dun 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 or dun 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 dun. Um I don't know. Wait, is is Jeopardy the game where you can wager points? All right, so we got one question. It's it's not scripted. It's not scripted. I just came up with it. Um, do do you guys know? Wait, the question gets revealed after the points are wagered, right? I I haven't watched Jeopardy in a very long time. Okay, so there is one bonus question. And you are free to wager as much points as you want. So, is anyone partaking? A hundred and seven. Ten point seven K points. Blaze Amber, would you like to wager any points? 9600. All right. So I don't I want to give everyone an, an equal chance of answering the question. So 
I don't know how to do this. I guess whoever knows the answer, just type it out and I will take all. Is that, is that, is that, is that fair? That's fair, right? Are, are we going with the first come first serve? Make it hard in Star Wars, please. It's Star Wars. I don't know if it's hard. Are we taking, okay, are we taking first come first serve or anyone who gets the answer correct gets it? There's literally only two players. Exactly. So you have everything to Panda. All right. I'm just going to ask the question. If you know the answer, just type it out. And I, what is the power consumption difference? For the <laughs> this question, if you paid attention yesterday, you would know the answer to it. Who is my favorite Jedi? It is not Kit Fisto, I'm sorry. It is not Mace Windu. It is not Qui-Gon Jinn. Well, because of the bet, Vlad is at zero points. Panda didn't gamble, so no points, I guess. Uh, Blaze Amber drops by 96. Wait. How much is that? But how much is... I can't math. One one eight five zero minus ninety six hundred is two hundred and two two thousand two hundred and fifty. Was the other manufacturer of the Tie Fighter aside from the Quad Drive Yards? I I would not know. Well, congratulations on Blaze Amber winning. For those that are curious about my favorite Jedi, it is Plo Koon. The yellow lightsaber holding Plo Koon. Dude can fight in space. Oh, right. Well, thank you all for tuning in. Um, this is going to be the end of the Star Wars special. Um, we will be watching... Okay, okay, sure, sure, sure. Um, we will be watching Star Wars tomorrow. We'll be watching Star Wars tomorrow for movie night. Feel free to join in. And until then, I'll be back on Monday. The weekend is coming up. Be sure to stay safe, stay hydrated. Thank you all for playing. And once again, congratulations to Blaze Amber for winning the trivia. And that will be it for tonight. Have a good one. Bye.